All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the 2-0 Washington Commanders. Big game on Sunday. History is in the making. If the Commanders beat the Bills on Sunday, Sam Howell will become the second Washington player in the Super Bowl era to win each of his first four starts in the NFL. This is not shocking for Washington Commanders fans. This is very shocking for the NFL media. We talked about in our last Washington video, I have no idea how Sam Howell fell all the way to the fifth round. This is a first round talent, but if you want to like really get into it, at worst, he's a second round talent and he's making the league pay right now. This dude has been uber efficient. He is so poised for a essentially rookie QB, he, you know, spent most of last year on the IR, kind of tries out for the starting gig in their final game of the season last year, gets it, beats out Jacoby, gets to QB1. They started off, it wasn't perfect, you know, it was a pretty week one victory over the Arizona Cardinals, but a win is a win. They followed it up with an extremely impressive, especially in the second half win on the road against a desperate Denver Broncos team. This is the best Washington Commanders team I can remember. I, I'm not too, I'm a Packers fan. I'm not too well versed with Washington's football history, but like, you know, I, I can think of RG3. I mean, it's definitely the best all around team that they've had since then. Their future looks extremely bright. And here's what's crazy. Sam Howell has been sacked 10 times. The offensive line, they've got three new guys in there by the end of the season. Oh my goodness gracious, this team is going to be so freaking efficient. This could be a 10-win squad. I don't care that Philly's in it. I don't care that Dallas is in it. Washington is relevant and they are competitive and you're going to see it this Sunday against Buffalo if you haven't already. But before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Washington fans, you guys got me like 1,500 likes on my last video. I, I seriously cannot believe it. If we could get this video to 100 likes, that would mean the world to me. But seriously, Washington fans, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So Sam Howell, you know, obviously he's like kind of the guy everybody's talking about right now where people have concerns. Long term, I just got to say Sam Howell is special. I, I think this genuinely could be a special guy. 27 to 39, 299 yards and two touchdowns. Now, Buffalo is a much different team than Denver, especially a much different team than Arizona. Even if Washington doesn't win against Buffalo, there are going to be some things to look out for. Number one is the rushing attack. Brian Robinson Jr., you know, coming off a game against Denver's, uh, like they have a great defense, 18 carries, 87 yards and two touchdowns. They average just under five yards per rush. Here's the thing. Brian Robinson, you know, it's a new scheme. Eric Bieniemy, right? In his first half, Brian has nine rushes for only 29 yards. In the second half, he has 28 runs for 120 yards. Now, I know that that stat doesn't sound too crazy because the 28 carries, I mean, that's over, I'm not a mathematician here, that's over four yards per carry, right? So patience is the important word with Washington right now because Brian Robinson Jr., <laughs> there's so much pop. He has so much zip. He just needs to be a little patient as the offensive line continues to acclimate with each other. They get the communication down. They get the timing down. I say this on all of my NFL videos because a lot of people, you know, kind of forget about it because when the NFL changed from 18 or sorry, 17 games, you know, 16 regular season games, four preseason games, and they switch it. They go to three preseason games and 17 regular season games. What you've been seeing is a lot of teams rest their starters for the entirety of the preseason. Now, in Washington's case, regardless, or just across the league, teams are starting really slow. What I've noticed is Sam Howell is a very young QB, right? He's only played in three games. But when I look across the league and I look at, you know, my Green Bay Packers or the Atlanta Falcons, et cetera, et cetera, because a lot of teams aren't starting their starters in the preseason, you're seeing very lackluster performances. This has been a very underwhelming two weeks in the season. What's crazy to me is even though Sam Howell's played in three regular season games, the dude does not look like he's played in three games. I mean, the dude looks like he has been in the league for maybe like five or six years. I mean, he is so poised. He's so in control. Yes, at times he needs to speed it up a little bit. He said that he was the first one to say it. But that offensive line, I know he's been sacked 10 times. I know the running stats aren't, you know, crazy, right? It's good, though. It's a sign of things to come. The offensive line, man, it takes so long to get it going. I would say at best by the fourth game. 
But for most teams, a third of the way through the season, six games in, that's finally when the O-line starts to ramp up. But it's just been so crazy that with Eric as your offensive guru, like Sam Howell does not look like a guy who has played in such little games. And it's a night and day difference. Take it from a Green Bay Packers fan. You know, Jordan Love doesn't look too bad. But here's a crazy stat. Washington ranks third in two-minute offense. All right. They're averaging 65 yards per game with two or four, two or few minutes remaining in the first half. They're actually number two in passing yards in the league with less than two minutes left. Like Jordan Love, my Green Bay Packers, he he went 0-6 in the fourth quarter. Like some players have it and some players don't. And Sam Howell has it. The dude has it. But it's not just Sam. It's an extremely hungry defense. And I've been reading your guys' comments and I agree with a lot of them. This is a top 10 defense. You know, statistically, they'll be a top 10 defense. But even if they're not, the eye test always proves correctly. One thing I've noticed, especially with Chase Young, the grit and heart on this team. I mean, it's all the little stuff. Chase Young, Sam Howell, the amount of respect, trust, and faith that not only, you know, the front office, the coaches, but especially that his teammates have in a player who has started three career games. It's unbelievable. And if you've played sports or even just in life, when people believe in you, it makes a huge freaking difference. It makes a huge freaking difference. All right. Now, winning solves pretty much everything. Now, Washington is 2-0, and but this is a team that is not going to quit. You know, even if they lose to Buffalo and then they followed it up with a week four loss to Philadelphia, nobody's quitting. Everybody still believes in this team. And considering, I mean, it should go without saying because Sam Howell is pretty much a rookie, the long-term outlook of this squad looks so good. And we're going to see it, I believe, in this Buffalo game. You know, outside of Sam Howell, outside of Brian Robinson, I've got Scary Terry. He, he had a good game against Denver. Five catches, 54 yards, and a touchdown. But we're going to see Scary Terry unlocked for the first time this season. And I also believe we're going to see Jahan Dotson unlocked this year. One thing about Washington's offense right now with Eric B. Enemy, they're so unpredictable. I mean, what? I, there's so many names here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different receivers in the last game. So, yeah, I get it. They're spreading it around, and they're getting everybody's confidence up. But they're waiting. They're waiting for games like Buffalo to really get creative with guys like Terry and guys like Jahan. This team, baby. <laughs> Washington fans, this game on Sunday is going to be freaking awesome. At home, baby sold out. I love the city. I love every time I've been to D.C. area, more, more Alexandria. But phew, never been to a Commanders game. I would love to. I love going to Nationals games. Guys, stay tuned. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We're posting a couple of Commanders videos regardless of how this team does for the duration of the season, just like we did last year. I appreciate your guys' support and love so much. But guys, the most important part of the video is here. Give me a score prediction for Sunday, baby. That's it. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. Have a great rest.